show of hands, how many of you used video or, or implemented video or produced video in the business? Full house. Craig at the back? No video, not at all. Okay. Um, show of hands, how many are interested in growth, sales and marketing, as opposed to recruitment and the employee experience? Growth, 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 growth. growth. So majority? Yeah. You both of you? Okay, all right. I, I just get a sense of the room. In my presentation, I'm going to give you a framework, and li like uh, Pete mentioned earlier on, um, you can have the deck afterwards. I want to be as helpful as possible. I want to share a framework on not how to make two or three videos, but how to make a hundred videos. How to support your function of sales, marketing, and recruitment, and how that can be a valuable tool, a medium in the business. But by combining storytelling with video into your marketing mix, you can foster a deeper connection. The science behind it is, obviously, you can hear it, you can see it, it touches two senses, and it's more powerful as opposed to just words on a, on a, on a paper or on a, on a screen or just an image. The, the two senses are really powerful. So I've produced over 10,000 films. These are some of the brands that I've worked with over the time, as well as lots of other businesses which are much smaller as well. But these are probably the bigger ones that you'll all kind of recognize. Today's um, presentation, or the framework, is not about the why. So if we're unsure about why video, then just Google HubSpot, go to HubSpot's website. There's loads of content there about the education. I'm going to focus on the how, how to make that kind of content. And then for a future event, I'll talk about what. I really believe that every business should have a media production team in-house so you can produce content at scale as and when you need that. Until we get to that point, there's a video partner option, which is the sweet spot that we sit in, where we partner with businesses and give them that support with producing content at scale. So the biggest challenge that we've got is every channel, uh, especially digital channel, is a noisy channel. Uh, there's too much content on every social, whether, the, whether we're looking at business-wise from LinkedIn or Facebook or like TikTok. And how do we actually cut through the noise to make sure that the video that we do produce, we put all this effort in, we produce the video, but how do we actually cut through the noise to resonate with our, uh, our audience? From an audience point of view, we've, we've got an attention deficit. We're getting bombarded left, right, and center with so many emails, messages, phone calls, WhatsApp, and, and the other social channels. It's like I'm getting bombarded. How do I actually um, see something that grabs my attention that I want to consume? And then once we actually reach our audience, we don't want to just make video for video's sake. We've got to make video that actually engages with them. What's the purpose of, the, of that video? What's the next action we want them to do with it, whether that's comment, click here, go to the buy now, check us out, learn more page. What, what, what's, the, what's the engagement that we're looking for? So we have a really simple uh, framework. <clears throat> it has to be strategy-led. What's the goal? What do we want to achieve over these 12 months? And the, the reason why we do it over 12 months, the reason why I say 100 videos and not one or two, is just like every other part of our communication strategy. Whether we have a conversation, we make a phone call, we send an email, we do social media. One post, one conversation never really generates that desired business action. There's a, there's a series of posts, there's a series of conversations, series of meetings, relationships are built. So likewise, video is only a medium. We need to use that channel, use that medium to really build that relationship and communicate new values, culture, and obviously them objectives, whether that's once again growth or from an internal communications point of view, in, in increasing the employee efficiency of the employee experience. That feeds into the production, how, how we make the, uh, the 100 videos, which feeds into marketing and distribution, the digital plumbing on which channels that we're going to put that content on, on how it features on your uh, website or landing pages. And then we want to measure everything to see what works, what doesn't work, stop doing what doesn't work, and obviously amplify what does. So the simple solution is all about story. So I know I'm talking about video, but video is the medium. What's the story behind it? We want to position you guys or the leadership of, of the business that you're working in as the experts, and then use video as the medium to cut through the noise and communicate your USPs. And ultimately, the purpose of the video is to create influence. We want our customers, our prospects, to move from one part of the buying journey, from one part to the next part, from the next part to the next part, from maybe cold to a marketing qualified lead, to a sales qualified lead, and then to a customer, and so on. So it starts with really, who is your customer? Who are you trying to talk to? Depending on whether it's a managing director, it's a HR director, or we first need to be really clear about who we're talking to, what do we want to say to them, and then how we're going to reach them. So, so that's the real first starting point. And then we move on to really building a, a story structure that really will grab their attention. So we have the structure of the five C's, 
cold context content conclusion in CTA. We're all living at 100 miles an hour at the best of times, and we've got a really short attention span. So in the first three to 10 seconds, when we watch something, we're gonna decide, are we gonna carry on watching this, or am I too busy, is it not interesting, am I gonna switch off? So in that first 10 seconds, we need to have a hook or a teaser or something that's really interesting to make sure that our prospect, our ideal customer, is gonna think, oh, this is interesting, yeah, I, I really needed this. I'm gonna stick around and watch the rest of that which is then where you move into the why, why you, why, why is it important. You then move on to the actual story itself, the main framework, and then at the end, summarize what you've just said, and then deliver the call to action. What do you want them to do next? By producing that content at scale and creating that structure, what we do is three things. We help to position you as an expert in your field by creating thought leadership content, and we can also then use this video content to do personal messaging, whether that's DMing on LinkedIn or any other social channel, or we can even use that in cold email as well. By putting all them together, positioning, thought leadership, and, and that personal messaging, we build what everybody knows on LinkedIn, which is trust, know, and a lot of people say like, but I prefer love. Um, and that's what builds that brand affinity, that element of building not just a network, you've got a network on all the channels, but really what you want to do is build your own community. So as you communicate to them, they understand who you are, they gravitate towards you, and when they like what you have to say, when the time is right for them, they will buy off you as opposed to you having to sell to them. And, and that's what I think is a really powerful thing when, when it all comes together. Over, over the customer journey, there's different stages from awareness to qualification, solution, conversion. There's over 20 different types of video that you can produce. And the first question we want to ask every business is, where are the gaps in the business? Are you lacking awareness? Are you, are you lacking just general leads? Or have you got a good sales pipeline and you're actually just lacking the conversion element of them leads? And then based on what the business data tells us, based on what the business needs, we can produce videos that are relevant to the needs as a starting point and build on that before moving into other areas. For recruitment, as well as communicating all the tangibles, video allows us to communicate the intangibles, the culture, the values, the look and feel of a, of a business. And when recruiting, you can watch a video. Straight away, you can get a feel of, I like the look of this company. I like the feel. I like the, the formal or the, the casual feel of that company, which is really hard to communicate in words on a paper. So you know, video from that point of view is really powerful. A regular video newsletter is really powerful. You know, you can really engage all your workforce, especially when they're spread over different offices or different geography. Then at that point there, video becomes a, a real integral part to make sure you can consistently communicate all your values and your culture as well. So the 12-month plan, how do, we, how do we make these 100 videos? So we break the year up into quarters. Um, we look at batch capturing and we look at what the main topics, main themes, and then we schedule key days where we're going to work through um, a number of different topics, different uh, stories, different videos. We create that content in that long form and then we cut them down into shorter pieces that can be shared on social, can be clicked back to the website or landing page to, to watch the long form content. So that, that's how we can get the scale, but we can be efficient with um, how we're producing that content and, and getting it out to the people that need to watch it. That's just another illustration. We're creating a, a big piece of content, and then we just cut that down to create mi micro uh, pieces of content to share on social channels. Social channels, you can measure the clicks and the views, and there's limited uh, analytics you can get from measurement, but especially coming back to the website, we use technology where we can track how much a video was watched, where it was skipped, where it was rewatched, and that gives us, I always say I'm a man with an opinion, but you can't argue with the data. From that point of view, we can stop doing what doesn't work and we can do more of what does work. So a quick recap, four steps to build a video framework. Who's your ideal customer? So you can craft your story for them. Number two, make sure your content is aligned to your customer journey. Make sure you fill the gaps that your business really needs. Have a very clear marketing and distribution plan so that you can engage with your audience wherever they are, with LinkedIn or a different social channel and bring them into your world. Measure everything and rinse and repeat.